Happy Saturday, family. Um, wanted to talk to you all about a topic that we'll be discussing on the show next week. Uh, first of all, thank everyone who's been tuning in to the Michael Bazin Show. It's our third week back. Um, thank you all for downloading the app. I really appreciate it. If you haven't, uh, go to Google Store or the Apple Store and download the Michael Bazin Show app. So the topic uh, for next week, one of the topics for next week, is whether or not men can handle a successful, confident woman. Obviously, yes. Yes, the answer is yes, they can. We can. Uh, but some men can't. Let's just be honest about this. And I'll be interested in getting you all's feedback, so I'll be reading uh, this post uh, after I after I pin it to the top of my page on Michael Bazin Live. So I think one of the challenges for, for us men is that the roles are changing. I mean, you ladies are not our mothers in the sense that many of our mothers got married in their teens. Uh, they didn't have a car. They didn't have a credit card. Many of them didn't have education. And so I think for a lot of us men in my generation and younger men, Quite honestly, we're dealing with women who are just more independent, women who are more accomplished. And here's something I think you all will, will find interesting. We can talk about this on uh, Wednesday uh, when we do the actual show. Women who are successful are not available. They're not available. They're, they're busy. They're busy like we're busy. Uh, for those men who are out there hustling, trying to make it happen, guess what? So is that woman who's trying to further her education, so is that woman who's starting her own business, so is that woman who's a lawyer or a doctor or, you know, just a woman who's out there living life and has responsibilities. She's busy. So when you find a lot of men, uh, successful men, who are dating the babysitters, let's just keep it real, uh, the nannies, the, the housekeepers, or whatever else, I think that has a lot to do with a, a few things. First of all, you can love whoever you want to love, so let's Let's not be judgmental and all snooty about it. There's nothing wrong with dating a, the housekeeper if you're a wealthy man or the nanny or whatever else. You love whoever you love. But I think that a lot of men, some men, let me correct that, fellas, don't like the challenge of dealing with a smart, confident, and successful woman. Follow me for a minute. I'm not, I'm not putting us down. I'm just saying this is new for us. Because our fathers never had to deal with women like you smart, educated, independent, more sexually experienced, and they know what they want, you know? So we're talking about mature women here. So the lack of availability is an issue for a lot of successful men because we want someone who's going to be there for us after we've worked a long hours and after somebody who will listen to our problems and not in return, you know, tell us all the challenges that are going on in her life because she's striving for success. Another aspect of this that I think is really interesting is that some men, fellas, and I'm, I'm being very clear about this, I'm not, I'm not trying to generalize all of us, but I, I would think that some men don't want the challenge of dating that successful, ambitious, intelligent woman. Because guess what? She's traveling in circles with other successful men. She has options of men who earn more than you do, who are maybe more accomplished than you are, etc. And I think that some men, I'll continue to say that, don't want the challenge of having to do that. I mean, it's easy to pick the low-hanging fruit. It is. The woman who will hold you in a higher esteem, not only because you, you know, you're accomplished, but because you know, she isn't as accomplished or she hasn't experienced as much success. But the woman who's experienced as much success, she has some personality traits that I, I, I don't know that a lot of men are prepared to rise up to. This is where it gets really deep. Intelligent, accomplished, confident women also have heightened awareness. And because we have some men who are immature, some men who are not good communicators, some men who are not consistent, 
we're allowed to get away with that with sometimes, many times, with women who are not as accomplished or educated or confident or whatever makes her more, her self-esteem higher. And when a woman has heightened self, heightened awareness, let me tell you, you better be on your game. You better be who you say you are because she's not going to ignore the inconsistencies. She's not going to ignore the temperament issue. She's not going to ignore the disrespect because she doesn't have to, because she's got her own money, because she's got her own house. She's got her own friends and her own life and her own vision. So I think it's easy to grab the low hanging fruit because the women who have it together and the women who have confidence and the women who feel good about themselves, who have high self-esteem, that heightened awareness is usually what eliminates a lot of game playing men. And I salute those women because I'm raising one of those women. I'm raising a young woman who's 25, <clears throat> excuse me, years old. And so for those men who are raising daughters as I am, we're creating these women. We're creating you. You women who are independent and, and, and have your own vision and your own journey. As fathers, we're creating you. So we're as guilty as anyone else for challenging men to up their game as fathers. So we have to, I think as men, deal with our insecurity issues and understand that being the man is not about earning the most money. We have to deal with our intimidation issues and understanding that her success does not in any way diminish our success. And last but not least, we have to deal with our immaturity issues. And as a man, I, I'm, I'm fortunate to have really cool guy friends who are accomplished and, and good fathers, which is for me, if you're not a good dad, I could care less how money you have, how much money you have. We're not going to be cool. But the maturity factor is a big problem right now. I don't know if it's the, the hip hop culture, if it's the, I don't know what it is, but I can tell you that men don't have the same maturity level that they did in, in when I was a younger man and I looked up to older guys. Being able to communicate like an adult and, and successful women and women who have drive and ambition for whatever it is, whether they're an author or an entrepreneur or a person just trying to live a more enlightened life, that man represents you just as you all represent us. And I think it's very important when we choose partners, and we talked about this last week when we talked about money and relationships. Your partner is a representation of you. And many women have, and will tell you this, that taking the wrong man to an event could cost them a promotion, could cost them a contract, just as taking the wrong woman can as a man. So I think there's a lot of challenges with us men, things that we need to work on as men. This is not to down us. It is to challenge us. I think it's very important that as, as a couple, you be able to challenge one another, right? I mean, women love men who challenge them. There's no question about that. The question is, do men love women who challenge them? That's the question I'm going to ask on Wednesday when we talk about this. So post your comments about it. Uh, when I get back home uh, from this great event that I'm about to do with a group of ladies, um, I'm going to read your comments and I will use some of you all's uh, responses uh, to talk about it uh, during the show on Wednesday. So I really would love to have your input. So thank you all for tuning in. And um, we'll also be talking about parenting this week. I mean, do you have a good relationship with your child? Are you a good parent? And also, you'd be surprised how many parents have never told their children, I love you. Isn't that crazy? But it's, it's happening more often than you think. Also, paternity fraud. And the, the show's just going to be hot this week. So please download the Michael Basin Show app. Listen to me from 3 to 7. We will be going on another two stations this week and another five stations the following week. So the show is continuing to grow. I'm very happy about that. And thank you all for being a part of the family, man. You guys have been with me uh, since I went off the air four years ago and we're still hanging out now. So I, I really appreciate it. So enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Go Falcons! 
And um, I'll see you guys on the radio on Monday. Have a good weekend, y'all. Bye.